So, 
we really want to thank you, all of you. More power to Diana, more power. More power. Long live Diana, long live. Long live. Diana, welcome home. More power, Diana, more power. More power. Long live Diana, long live. Long live. Viva Kenyans everywhere, viva. Viva. Viva Kenyans, viva. Viva. Viva, comrades, viva. Viva. Thank you very much. As you have all seen, we've been waiting for Diana. Chepkemboy from Saudi Arabia. Uh, you all know the story. She's gone through very difficult times. She was unwell and uh, she was not getting any medical attention. She's gone through atrocities which we cannot explain now. We will leave it to the authorities. But we thank God that the mother is here together with our MP for Konoin, MP for East. My name is Veska Kangogo uh, from Nairobi County and Wasingishu and we've been following up on Diana. Diana is safe, she is good. She went for her first medical checkup uh, three days ago and uh, we had a repeat through the ambassador uh, of uh, Arabia. We want to thank the Ministry of uh, Labor. Uh, CS Chalugui, PS2, uh, Madam, uh, uh, the CEO for the Employment Authority and the ambassador uh, together with the Atache for giving us the support. Thank you also the online community, Kalenjin's online and others abroad who really fought for and advocated for Diana until we found her. But the hero today is Diana yeah. because she kept strong. We kept on asking her location. She was not able to use her phone, but through the wisdom that God gave her, we were able to locate her. So we really want to thank you and Diana is here together with the mother. Might be, uh, might be the mom can make a comment first. Long live Diana, long live! Long live! Okay. And as a to go to the I'm so grateful at this moment that my daughter Diana is back. I'm so grateful this 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 afternoon that Diana is back. I'm so grateful. I have extra I got to explain my happiness. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. So we also have our MP from Konoin, uh, the MP for Diana. Thank you. <coughs> okay. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the fourth estate, this Brighton Yegon, member of Parliament Konoin constituency. We've come here for one purpose to receive Diana from Saudi Arabia. You, you all know that uh, in the last two or three days we received a distress call um, that Diana was held up somewhere, being mistreated by the boss in Saudi Arabia. And uh, we chipped in and talked to the authorities, the PS uh, uh, Labor, CS Labor, um, uh, Chelugui, and TUM and also Ambassador to Saudi Arabia, Ogego, and also even uh, commercial attache in that country, which is uh, Muli. And um, we are very happy and delighted, and we really appreciate all those who, who've made any effort to bring Diana back to Kenya. Our social media has played a very key role, um, um, and, and also Kalenjins abroad have played a very key role in, in the repatriation of Diana. We really appreciate. We know that uh, many, and even those who just landed, uh, been in the same agent with Diana. There are very many who have ju just landed here, and they are uh, going through the same problem which Diana has gone through. And uh, many of our Kenyans who have actually sought um, jobs in Saudi Arabia have faced almost similar problems. Many have been killed. Many have been denied medical access, many have been denied food, many have gone through sexual harassment and uh, other forms of human rights uh, violation. We are saying without fear of contradiction, in fact I'm saying without fear of contradiction, that when we uh, convene Bunge, we are going to uh, make laws uh, toward burning uh, of uh, 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 exporting labor to Saudi Arabia and those countries which have shown no commitment to human rights to, uh, to, to Kenyans with regard to labor force. Uh, bilateral agreements 
which was done seven years ago, does not respect Kenyans working in Saudi Arabia. The uh, agents, the cartels and unscrupulous agents who have been exporting labor to Saudi Arabia, most of them does not follow laid down procedures. And this is what we are going to follow up when we uh, resume Bunge this week so that we can actually be able to even see to it that we do total ban on exporting labor to Saudi Arabia and related countries which have not shown any respect to, uh, to the laws of Kenya and to uh, human rights of our people and of our workforce. Uh, we are going to see how to assist Diana to pick up his life from here because um, and, and also the family to pick up their lives from here. I know we now have a, a government which respects people and which respects citizens. We are going to uh, talk to the government so that the next CS and the, uh, uh, Labour and the next PS Labour and all those authorities involved are going to see to it that any further export of Labour outside the country uh, the rights of Kenyans are respected. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Then yes. we have uh, our MP for uh, Bomet East and our women rep for Kericho. Is it okay here? Thank you. Uh, okay, thank you very much, uh, the members of the Fort Estate. My name is Richard Diagon, the member of parliament for Bomet East, a neighboring constituency to my water friend here from Konoin. Uh, what I would like to say about the, uh, the issue or the incident which has befell uh, our daughter here, Diana Chepkemo, is that, um, let me say, I'm, I'm so much privileged to be one of the members of parliament who were elected recently. And one of the uh, issues which we are going to fast track, as my, uh, my colleague has said, is that the issues of the labor and um, exporting our human resource into Saudi Arabia and the Middle East countries, which have, got, have shown... Uh, no respect to human dignity, especially the black. Um, we are going to follow it up so seriously and make sure that the Ministry of Labor um, strictly follow up on all the people who are going to be exported in whatever way into uh, the Middle East to make sure that the laid down procedures, the agents who have been taking, care, um, taking all these, uh, uh, our people to the Middle East for these human resource uh, issues to make sure that all follow the later procedures before anybody goes to any other country. We want to have, I think, um, if I may say, we make laws whereby we have to give the numbers of people who have been authorized go out of the country so that at least we know these people are in which place so and so has taken him or her to go and work in those areas. We will not entertain any more, any more mistreatment of our people. You can see uh, how this uh, girl is, uh, if you can see a Sabbath, it is uh, becoming, uh, it's, it is unbearable. We will not accept it. As members of parliament and the government, the new government in place, I think we are going to be very serious on this. The president-elect has talked about so many, so many issues. This is one of the factors we are going to discuss, and I think we are going to be very serious. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Asante Nisana na Mungu Yeah, And finally, let's have the women rep for Kericho County uh, so that she can address... Uh, Diana. Uh, can we ask Diana? Oh, Diana is here. Diana, you able to talk? So, please, please. Very let, good. Let her talk. Okay. okay. Okay, as you all know, my name is Diana Chenkemoy. I left Kenya to go to Saudi Arabia just with the hope I'll get to live a better life afterwards. But mine is just to say, if I can just be honest, mine was just a tip of the iceberg. What one at Tseka? You are suffering there. My friends are suffering there. It's just that mind, we need to that voice. We need to support when you need to hear. But people are suffering there. And I'm just living with the government. Just please do something. People there are mentally tortured, psychologically tortured. And it's not fair. And I, it's a shame being told there's nothing you can do. There's nothing your government can do. I have power against your government. It's a shame. So I'm just bleeding with the government. Just please do something. What's the idea? Wanataseka. Wanapitia mateso. Nile tu mimi nilipata sauti. 
nilipata support venye nilivicha huko but kuna watu wako huko mpaka hata mtu sasa hizo kimuuliza yake akijui mtoto kimuuliza kwa nini wapi azui hata venye nimetoka huko tu ameniambia tu at least wewe umesikika sauti yako imesikika pia sisi tusaidie pia sisi tusaidike sana nikuuliza alikuwa anakufanyia nini na pia kuna wodi mmoja ambayo tunamsikia akisema kwamba akirudi atakuhamishwa kwa sababu eh msema unafanya kazi alikuwa alikuwa anafanya nini aswa I was in front I was doing my job So the problem started where the first time I arrived in Saudi Arabia I had an issue with her I reported the issue to my agent instead of my agent chipping in and helping me they just your issue and it swept under the rug so from there ajua there's nothing I can do she can do anything to me any small mistake you do na biwa there's nothing you can do nilikununua na utaka hapa mpaka umalize contract and if I also want you can I can jail you the way I want I can do anything against you they know they have power against you yeah let me ask how are you able to get the pictures the pictures that uh, you sent on social media if they are confiscated your phone how are you able to you know, those are past photos I saw another from Ghana. Was she back when you, when you were rescued? She wasn't around. Yeah. How are you rescued? Yeah. Protect the girl. Yeah. So what we are going to do, as you can see, she needs to get medical attention. So uh, Diana will not say much. Maybe we may need to follow up to their home. So uh, we are just going to uh, allow our women to just conclude. If you have any questions, she can answer on our behalf. Okay. We are okay here. Now this afternoon we really want to thank God who has done great things for us. Diana is here. She's arrived safe and sound though she's she's looking weak and tired. But we thank God. And I want also to thank the people who are concerned for her rescue. I know it has not been very easy. This is a reflection of the many others who are not here, the many others who are in the Middle East and many other countries of the same. Uh, on behalf of the people of Pomet, Kericho, Rift Valley, and the whole country, on behalf of the many mothers who are here and those who are not here, I want to say that we are happy that Diana is here, but we are we are feeling bad. We are just feeling very bad that our daughters, you know, mainly these are we are daughters who go outside to seek for employment. Uh, it is very unfortunate that that country is not happy with us and they are treating our our, our daughters and even others. There are those who are being employed there in unfortunate situation, and I say this must be this must come to an, an end. I want to condemn with the strongest terms. And uh, one thing that is giving me hope is that yesterday uh, the, the courts gave a verdict and say the election of Dr. William Samoe Ruta is okay. And therefore next week when we, we will, he will actually come <coughs> to the office, I believe and I know this is one of the areas of his concern. Um, unemployment is one of the areas that has made our people to go outside the country. And I'm even wondering where Atwali is. I don't know what he's done about the same because if he's fighting for the empl uh, employees in this country, he's never been concerned with those who are outside. The Ministry of Labour, I believe with the new government, things will work better for us. Looking and uh, looking into consideration that most <coughs> of our youth are unemployed and they form a large population of this country. When we have better chances, I know our youth will not go outside. At least we want to import labor, we want to import professionals. We wouldn't want to uh, export 
those who are not are uh, those who are those who are not professionals. And I want to believe that Diana and we are here to make sure that she gets the best medication, she gets the best assistance together with the family. I want to encourage our children, our youth, not to go outside the country without reason or even with reason, they should uh, seek for uh, better assistance from within. So with all that I say, I looked at today and we are saying that the money ma market is getting better for us. And I believe even with that, things will get better for all of us. So once more, Diana, welcome home and God is on your side and your family loves you. Thank you very much. So more thank power you very to much. Diana, more power. Oh. More power, Diana, more power. So we want to... Uh, <coughs> You are all aware that she was in Meru University yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, she left school to go and defend for her family. So uh, there is someone from the county government of uh, Bomet who was sent by the governor and there is also the Meru University Students Association who have come in solidarity at least to speak on behalf of uh, the other students together with Aki Africa. Okay, Comrades Power. Power. Comrades Power. Power. My name is Huntington Oguk from Mary University. I'm the current president of uh, Mary University Association. We are very happy today because we can see Diana is with us here. And uh, just from the students countrywide, yeah, this is a warning to the government. Or maybe this is just, uh, we are trying to tell the government, please, please, remember these young people who are pursuing bachelors and diplomas. These are the next. Uh, the next leaders in this country. By the time you are, we are you, you, you are taking your roots outside the country, what are you trying to do? You've heard what Diana said. So many, so many Africans are suffering out there. So many of uh, of students from Kenya are suffering out there. Government come to our rescue as Student uh, Association of Kenya, and uh, as you know, here I'm also representing Kuso. Kuso is Kenya University Students Organization. I'm calling upon the leadership of Kuso to make. Uh, to integrate together with the national government to ensure such thing doesn't happen. Mary University received this information and through the power of comrades, through the power of social media, it was able to reach the media houses and now we are here, we are happy that Diana is, ba is back here. Comrades power. power! Comrades power. power! Government, kindly check on the agents who are taking our, our, our brothers and sisters out of the country. Question them. L let them answer. Let them tell us how many did they take and how many are safe, how many are dead. Thank you. Yeah, my name is uh, Frederick Odiambo Jiro. I'm a rapid response officer at Haki Africa, a human rights organization. Today we start in solidarity with Diana and the family and all Kenyans who are working abroad and are facing challenges here and there. We want to reiterate what our elected leaders have said here, that uh, the government of Kenya will say thank you for bringing Diana back. But we also want to remind you also to consider bringing back all Kenyans who are stuck in the Middle East. From our data as Hack Africa Organization, working together with other human rights organizations like Kudaya, we have got 51 cases of Kenyans who are wishing to come back home because their lives are being jeopardized. And the question is, where is the Kenya government? What are you doing about your Kenyans living in the Middle East? The second thing is, we want to request this new government that is coming in place. We believe and we hope that you have what it takes to deliver Kenya to the next level. You must consider creating jobs locally so that we do not have young people suffering, young people being killed, and young people, you know, unable to meet their dreams of their lives. And then lastly, we are also requesting that we must support our brothers and sisters who are active on social platform and any other platform. If it were not for this young boy who was able to raise Diana's issue, we could have not had this issue. So we say thank you to all Kenyans, wherever you are, for the good work, for starting in solidarity, and for bringing Diana back. And as a Haki Africa, we commit. We believe that whatever support Diana we need, because we have agreed that we are going to start a campaign of bringing all Kenyans who are stuck in Saudi Arabia back home. Long live Kenyans, long live! Long live! Long live Kenyans, long live! Long live! Thank you. So, and finally, we have an issue, and I want the media to take up. Yeah. There is a family which had come to pick the body uh, from Saudi Arabia on the same airline. Uh, the body of uh, a lady from Nandi called uh, Joan Cheruto. Yes. The family is at, is at, the, at the cargo center, and they have not been able to receive that body. 
So what I would wish Sorry. is as soon as you leave this place, please don't go to your offices. Go to the, the African cargo or the cargo center and find out where is the body of Cheruto. Joan. Which Joan Cheruto, who was supposed to be in this plane. We were expecting a body of uh, one of them who has died there. And at least Diana who is here and alive. Yeah. So the family is in pain. Yeah. So if you can go, ask for from the Saudi uh, embassy and the Saudi Arabian uh, airlines to produce the body of Joan Cheruto yeah. so that they can go and bury her. Yeah. Otherwise, as uh, all the leaders have said, we are demanding that let these children or our youths who are in Saudi Arabia, let them be brought back home. And unless there is a bilateral agreement between Kenya and Saudi Arabia, we cannot continue exporting children who are alive and bringing them back when they are dead. We shall clear the flag if this one is not taken into consideration.